This video is going to go into the washing techniques of a duck. We've got this duck in the water. It is pretty bloody. In fact, it's really bloody. I'm using my fingers, fingernails at this point to remove any excess flesh that I didn't get off. Depending on your duck, this happens to be a canvas back, very tough skin diver. One of the nicest ducks to work with as far as mounting. They mount nice, they look nice mounted, especially in a standing position. But this bird is really bloody. So we're using our fingers. We got Dawn dishwashing water, liquid in the water. We got quite a bit of soap in it. In fact, I'm going to put a little more soap in it because of the amount of blood in here. But I, right now I'm just basically on the skin side using my fingernails on any areas that didn't clean up perfect. I can just lightly scrape it and that fat and blood will come out. Find your bullet holes, make sure the opposite side you got no blood clots where the blood went through into the feathers because you have to spend a lot of time cleaning that out of the feathers otherwise it'll just keep bleeding into your feathers as you're mounting it. Okay, we've got the skin side pretty clean at this point. Water's starting to get pretty dirty. We're going to invert this out. We're going to go over the outside of this duck. Make sure there's no blood clots, no blood in the feathers that are going to cause problems. Make sure your wings are clean. Your birds will look, especially upland game, when you're washing upland game, it really looks bad because they got three feather lines, at least the duck. They're covered with feathers, they don't look really bad, but... At this point I'm just going to squeeze that soapy water out. I'm going to use cold water and I'm going to rinse the soap out. Gently, I get this bird between the wings and I just gently squeeze all the excess water out I can get out. Make sure you don't lose your bill. The bill was in the water getting cleaned up at the same time. If you're using artificial heads then you can discard the bill. As I've stated, I use the real head on all my birds unless they're totally shot and the bills are shot. Now I'm going to take a towel and I'm just going to wrap this bird up in a towel. And I'm going to squeeze it some more and let the towel soak up any excess water. And then we got a five gallon bucket with about four or five inches of denatured alcohol in the bottom of it. It's a covered bucket. We'll drop this duck in the bucket for four or five minutes to help displace the water that is still left in the feathers and it'll also help take any oils out that are still left in the feathers. We've now soaked our duck in denatured alcohol for about five, six minutes. We removed it from the alcohol, squeezed the excess out, making sure we had protective gloves on at the time. Now we're going to use a towel or this is actually a imitation chamois I picked up to squeeze out any excess denatured alcohol if you want you can leave this right lay for a few minutes so more of the alcohol dissipates into the room it'll evaporate as it lays there 
I keep the alcohol in the bottom of a five gallon bucket. One gallon should do, I would say, seven to ten birds, depending on how greasy they are. When it looks like it's getting in bad shape, discard of it properly and start with new. This time we're going to completely. We're going to go to our borax bin and we're going to take this duck and we're going to completely immerse it with borax. We're going to work it into the wing areas, the leg areas, all the inside of the skin, the outside of the skin, through the feathers. The borax does two things. It'll help preserve the mount. Make sure you got borax on the mounts in the feather areas when you're mounting them. Got a broken bone here, it's hard to get out of the wing. Got to find the inside here. At least this duck's standing so I won't have to repair that bone. I like to get borax work down into all them wing areas, wing joints. Make sure we get everything dried with it so there's no blood that'll bleach through. Fill the chest cavity with borax. I actually take it and I'll shake it out through the down the whole neck area so it comes out the head. As I said earlier, this is a pretty sturdy bird. Now I'm just going to work borax into the wing areas, into the feathers. Taking the borax down into the feather quill area to soak up as much of that denatured alcohol as I can get. The drier it is with the borax, the faster it'll dry with the shot back. At this point, I'm just going to shake all the ex excess borax out. Lay our duck back out on the table. You need to use a hair dryer set on low heat. I prefer prefer a shop vac. It'll put out more more air. Just know how close you can get it to the bird so you don't blow the feathers out, but yet you're drying them. Now I just kind of hold the bird in my hand, one hand, keep moving it around, keep drying. shop back. We're going to proceed with the mounting process. We're going to have to fix some holes. We ripped the wing when we skinned it. We'll actually super glue that shut. But at this time this bird is fluffed up and dried enough to mount. We'll finish the drying process after we put him on the mounting stand.